Hey guys, it's Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hoping you're having a great day so far. Hey, we're on our way to check out a new listing for a client. It's a two-story Santa Fe style home. It's four bedrooms. Hang out with us and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Right guys, right here at 2880 Plaza Del Oro. This is a great residential estates area. Golf course is right behind those houses. It's a nice little cul-de-sac. I actually live right around the block. So this has underground utilities, so there's no power poles. It's a big corner lot. Nicely landscaped. So you got Jamaica Boulevard right there. All right, let's go in and check it out. All right, guys, so this is a four bedroom, three bath. 2,829 square feet, built in 2007. Again, it's in the residential estates. It's a two-story Santa Fe style home. It's just listed a couple days ago, currently listed at 714,900, which puts it at $252 a square foot. So this is kind of a little extra bonus room living area, maybe even maybe a formal dining type setup if you want it to be. Carpet looks good and new. All the window coverings are there. So you have a little under the stairwell uh, closet. You got a bedroom and a bathroom over here. Nice big open living area with huge tall ceilings. Nice wood burning fireplace. Got a nice open kitchen area, the door out to the garage, indoor laundry and a little uh, pantry. Double oven, little kitchen island. Granite counters. This walks out to another little like, um, maybe formal dining area or another little uh, living area. Maybe set up a pool table or something turn into a vacation rental. So you have a guest bath down the entry hall. It's all tile. Walk-in shower. So you have the first bedroom you rent into. It's off the entry, front of the house. Just a guest bedroom. Say so it has eight foot ceilings. All right, so we're going to the upper level where the rest of the bedrooms and the master is. All right, so the first bedroom you run into is on your left, and this is a master suite. It's a pretty good size. So you have your master bath. This is a little door out to the balcony, and this kind of wraps around into a big master walk-in closet.
You have a huge, huge walk-in shower, the rain head. You fit like six people in here. You also have a nice jetted tub. Dual sinks. Got your toilet. It's actually some lake views, a little bit peekaboo views. So this is the little balcony off the master. It's got two ceiling fans. Kind of wraps around a little bit. Got a hose bib up here with power. Got a little lake view. So that's what the lake view looks like to the eye. All right, so you have uh, additional bedrooms over here. So you got another guest bedroom, just your standard little setup. So you got another guest bath up here that serves uh, these two bedrooms. It has dual sinks, it's pretty good size. Hey, you got another bedroom here. This would be the fourth and final bedroom. All right, let's go take a look at the garage setup and the backyard. All right, we're back down here. The garage and indoor laundry off the kitchen. Does have a little area here. Right, so you have a pretty decent garage set up. Has this two car garage. It's 38 feet deep, eight foot door. You also have a 50 foot RV garage with a 12 foot door. That's a door to the outside. And then this door is blocked when I peeked in there and it's just the air handler for the AC. Got your water softener, water heater, RO connector. Looks like they would probably use it as a shop at one point. Both doors are insulated. The 50 amp and an RV clean out right here. It looks like more than a 12 foot door, but that's what they have in the listing. Of course, we always measure because it always comes down to inches when it comes to the garages out here. All right, so you have uh, French doors out to the backyard patio area. It's got a TV and ceiling fans. It's extra deep. There's plenty of room for a pool back here. Not much over here. They can still landscape it and make it look real nice. Looks like they already plumbed it for water and electrical conduit. The wall looks a little bit newer, maybe. Yeah, tons of room to either turn this into side RV boat type parking uh, or, you know, put a pool in. The walls look like they're already high enough. Got a little bit of stucco cracking up there, not a big deal. Might be able to just utilize that existing gate and just kind of knock that first couple rows out and you get a drive-in type setup if that's what you want to do hey guys have a salute back again with you hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on plaza de Loro. if you guys have any questions at all about it just feel free to reach out to me all my contact information is right below this video i will also put a direct link to the mls uh, listing page so you can see all the original listing pictures, current price, availability, and all that. So you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.